Please subscribe this channel. Big Cells and General Motors knows that better than anyone. Its truck-based full-size Chevrolet, GMC, and Cadillac SUVs dominate their respective segments, and the outgoing Lambda 3-row crossovers, the Chevrolet Traverse, GMC Acadia, and Buick Enclave, racked up big numbers over their long lifespans as well. Now those crossovers are entering their second generation, we've already driven the new, smaller Acadia, while the Buick has yet to make its debut, and Chevrolet's redesigned 2018 Traverse is still thinking big. The new Traverse is undiminished in size, with a wheelbase that's 2 inches longer than that of its predecessor and a full 8 inches longer than the new Acadia's, though it still shares its basic architecture with the GMC. This pays dividends for passengers, Chevrolet claims that the new Traverse provides more headroom and legroom for the second and third row riders, impressive, considering that the outgoing Traverse already had one of the most spacious cabins in its class. The cargo area shrinks compared with the old Traverse, although the new model's space behind the third row, 23 cubic feet, still beats competitors such as the Honda Pilot, 16 cubic feet, and the Ford Explorer, 21 cubic feet. Likewise, total cargo space with all seats folded goes from 116 cubic feet down to 99 cubic feet, although that figure manages to top the similarly big-boned Volkswagen Atlas's 97 cubic feet. Chevrolet's designers have wrapped the 2018 Traverse in sheet metal that adopts a more squared-off look than its predecessor. The new front end, with a large hexagonal grille flanked by narrow headlights, mirrors that of the smaller 2018 Chevy Equinox crossover. A body color C-pillar breaks up the side glass area for a more upright, truck-like profile, and the rear end is similar to that of the Acadia, albeit with different daylights. Under the skin, Chevrolet claims a weight savings of 351 pounds, comparing front-wheel drive base models, which brings the Traverse more in line with slightly smaller competitors such as the Pilot and the Toyota Highlander. On most models, GM's familiar 3.6-liter V6 provides the motive force, and a 5,000-pound tow rating, with its 305 horsepower and 260 pounds to foot of torque. We are scratching our heads as to why the larger Chevrolet has a less powerful, older version of this engine than the smaller Acadia, which makes 310 horsepower and 271 pounds to foot from its newer generation 3.6 liter. The Traverse's new RS trim level is also perplexing, as the purportedly sporty version of the Traverse comes only with front-wheel drive and a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder making 255 horsepower. The Turbo 4 does have more torque than the V6, with 295 pounds to foot, but it doesn't seem set to live up to the RS model's black trim and claimed racier suspension tuning with any real performance benefit. Both the RS and the V6-powered trim levels, comprising L, LS, LT, Premier, and High Country, come standard with GM's new 9-speed automatic transaxle and an engine stop, start system. These upgrades help fuel economy considerably, Chevrolet estimates that front-wheel drive V6 models will earn 1825 mpg city highway ratings, while the front-drive only four-cylinder RS will get 20 20 thirds of a mile per gallon. Even if that 2.0T highway number seems low, either engine provides a big jump over the current Traverse V6, which gets 15 20 seconds of a mile per gallon city highway regardless of driven wheels. All-wheel drive will be optional on V6 models, and the top high country variant comes with the same torque vectoring rear axle found in the Acadia All-Terrain and the Cadillac XT5. The new high country model is also poised to increase the Traverse's profitability, while the current Traverse sells at lower average transaction prices than its competitors, this new top-of-the-line model, which shares its name with a Silverado trim level 
could start around $50,000 and will compete with other fully loaded crossovers such as the Ford Explorer Platinum and the Honda Pilot Touring Elite. Phones, Babylon's came